Hello and welcome to part 2 of the video on how to leverage Oracle ADW's text indexing capability within OAC. Before you proceed, ensure that you have watched part 1 of the video on the same topic where we showed how to create tokens on a dataset with free text and identified that these were the top 20 tokens in our dataset. Next, I want to look at the claims amount for each of these tokens. To do that, I create a mapping table where I join the original cl claims complaints table with the index table so that for each token that the index created, I can get the record ID to the original table. Note that the number of records in this mapping table will be more than the original claims table because for each record ID there will be multiple entries in this table for the multiple tokens. Once this table is created, I go back to DV and add a data set referring to this table. I also add the original claims complaint table because that's the table that has the claims amount information. Okay, so now I have the token record map and the claims description table. So let me bring the token text and the claim amount. Now I don't see the token text information that's because it has a many-to-many -many join with the fact table. So let me change the data blending options. I set it to custom, get all the rows from the mapping table and matching rows from the ta fact table. So now I'm able to see all the tokens and the corresponding claim amount. I want to see the claim amount per token. So let me create two calculations. First, number of claims, which is the count of the record IDs. Next, I create another calculation called the average amount per token, which is the claim amount by the number of claims. Let me bring these two calculations into my table. Let me create a filter on the number of claims and look at only the top 20 claims like we did earlier. So these are the top 20 tokens and the claim amount for each of these tokens. So the average amount per token uh, is more or less the same across all the tokens. So using the complaints description data, I'm able to gain some valuable information on what are the most often used words in these complaints and how much claim amount have they cost the company. Hope this was useful. Thanks for watching this video.